This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. This might be the dumbest thing I've seen all of 2024 already. WAC 100 is crazy, bro. So, you know, he has this show with Adam 22 now on No Jumper. I like No Jumper. I like Adam 22. I don't mind WAC 100. But I think he pushes things too far. He has this crazy obsession with Big U, okay? Him and Big U, they just, they used to get along, but now they hate each other, okay? And they've been going back and forth for years now, especially ever since WAC 100 got obsessed with being viral on the internet, okay? Now, WAC 100 is effective <laughs> at getting attention on the internet. That's without a doubt. He knows what to do. He'll push the boundaries. He'll even meet up with you and squabble, okay? He's had this weird thing about Nipsey, too. Ever since he passed, he says, what hit records does he have? What legendary status does he have? Who is, he? you know? Basically, I mean, maybe I'm stretching a little bit. But he really just takes a lot from Nip. And, you know, Nip put in a lot of work, okay? 08 to his demise in 2019, right? And, you know, he was just starting to get his just due. But he had money. So, unfortunately, he got taken out by a guy named uh, Eric Holder. Shitty cuts, right? And this guy, I guess they... This, this is the, all rumors, I guess. You know, they had a... a you know, him and uh, this guy, Shitty Cuz, had a, a fight a week prior to him coming back over there and popping Nipsey. I guess Nipsey called him Snitch. And he came back and shot Nipsey. Well, now, year what is it? Five years later now, right? Luke Cannon, who's a '60s member, right? Wack 100 finds him. Maybe they've been friends. Who knows? Who cares, right? And he say he tells. This is the story he tells. He says, "Yo, I got this call from Big U that day, and he told me, yo, Nipsey's dead, man. He got shot.' So I quickly called. I hang up and I call Nipsey." And I say, yo, what's up, bro? You good? And he's like, yeah. And he says, I didn't mention it. The thing about this, I didn't mention it to Nip. I just talked to him for a minute, got off the phone with him. Then 30 minutes later, everyone's calling my phone saying he died. The first thing you would say to Nip, if you were his friend, yo, Big you just told me you got shot. I'm just making sure you're good, right? He says, I didn't mention it to him. Maybe if I mentioned it to him, it wouldn't have happened. Are you, what, what, what kind of story is this? You know? And then he's like, you know, Eric Holder did go over there, shoot him, then leave, then came back and shot him again. Maybe he was talking to Big U that whole time. Bro, he didn't shoot him. And then, like, you, he answered the phone in between on the, you know, the first shot and the second shot and say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good, bro. Just, you know, little, little bullet wound, nothing. And then get shot again to die. I mean, this is the dumbest story I've ever heard. How Adam sat there and didn't say anything is beyond me. He probably just knew, you know what? This is like beyond me. I'm not going to talk about this. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to just leave it alone. Because like this is Twilight sci-fi type of story here. Okay. And I'm going to be honest with you. Big U isn't just some soft guy. Okay. <laughs> He's very respected. And, like, telling stupid stories like this, it could get, like, think about what could happen to Big U with this story out there, that Big U was somehow responsible for Nipsey passing. Think about that. Think about what could happen. Big U could get killed. Right? Um, Black 100 could get retaliation right now because he's the one pushing this narrative he's been pushing this narrative it's gross let's be honest are we pushing is, is it going a little too far i mean is it going way too far right now i would say yes anyways this is jordan tower with jt news let me know what you guys think in the comments this is a pretty important topic peace